we mentioned the spiritual religious benefits. Are there any other benefits that you need to tell the audience about? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmeen, amma abad. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim, bismillahi r-rahman r-rahim, rabbi shahri sadri, wa yusalli amri, wa halul uqdat min lisani afkahu kawli. As far as benefits, besides religious and spiritual benefits, there are various benefits of fasting. And as you rightly mentioned in the last interview, we discussed about religious and spiritual. There are other benefits which can be categorized into three different categories. Physical benefits of fasting. There are psychological benefits of fasting, as well as there are social benefits of fasting. I see. Let's move on to the first category, the physical benefits. What exactly are the physical benefits? benefits of fasting? Since fasting mainly involves in abstaining from food, drink and sex from dawn up to sunset, here we realize that the stomach is the main organ of the body which has the maximum diseases, maximum ailments. That's why beloved Prophet Muhammad said. It's mentioned in Ibn Majah, volume number 4, hadith number 3349. A beloved prophet said that there is nothing better that a son of Adam can fill in the container with more evils than the stomach. It is sufficient for a man to be on his feet with a few muscles. But if he has to eat more, he can divide the stomach into three parts. One third for the food, one third for the drink, and one third for his breath, or one third for the air. So what we realize that the maximum diseases originate in the stomach because it's house for bacteria. And the food that we eat, it enters the stomach. From the stomach, it gets digested, goes into the intestinal tract. Then the food nutrients enter the bloodstream and then goes to almost all the different organs of the body. And we realize that the stomach is working continuously throughout the life. It never gets any rest. When we fast, this stomach, which is a very delicate organ, though it's very delicate, it is a very complicated organ. It's delicate, at the same time, it's very important. It keeps on working throughout the day. This organ, while we fast, when no food enters for several hours, it gets rest. And the toxins that are there in the body, they are removed, they are purged out. So fasting is a very good way that physically it's beneficial for the body. It removes all the toxins and it helps in various diseases. What about the psychological impacts upon the human psyche regarding fasting? I think that's very important. As far as the psychological dimension is concerned, fasting helps in patience, forbearance and perseverance. It helps a person to increase his self-control, his self-worth. It helps him to increase the self-reflexivity. Also, the self-training and discipline is improved. The main psychological benefit of fasting is the increase in patience and perseverance. And it can make a person who says, I cannot do, it can make him say, I can do. And fasting, helps in the conditioning of the heart, body, mind, and soul. It improves the overall dimension of the human being. And fasting is a sort of training. It even helps in behavioral change. And changing a behavior is very difficult. A person who's used to a particular behavior, to change a person's behavior is very difficult. It is, as we say, that the best type of jihad is jihad for nafs. That is, striving against your own soul. So to change the habits is one of the things which is most difficult, which fasting can do. And since jihad that is going in the battlefield is of utmost importance when required, if you cannot do jihad, if you cannot strive against your own soul, how can you strive against the enemy? So therefore, fasting helps in that dimension. That's the reason fasting was made first before jihad. Fasting was made for 15 years after prophethood in the second Hijri. 
and next year one year later jihad was made first so allah subhanahu wa taala first wanted to train and make the muslims fit psychologically with the help of fasting and then the qital part was made first so psychologically it's very helpful and normally a human being he eats 3 meals in a day in a week about 21 meals now that is changed that behavioral pattern of eating is changed to two meals light meal late in the evening or early night and before dawn so the whole pattern is changed and this helps in various psychological aspects the training and today psychology they tell us that if you can control your hunger you can control almost all your desires